Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to the Luxy Hair channel. I'm Alexandra Buter and recently I got married. I have a DIY bride series on my channel and there is so much wedding planning in that series, so many projects and tips and tricks. And in today's video, I'm sharing my three favorite bridal hairstyles with you. All of these looks are so beautiful, but they also are easy enough to do on yourself. So I really hope that you enjoy and let's get started. So the very first thing I'm doing is adding in my Luxie hair extensions and these are going to add so much volume and length and just really make everything so beautiful. So the first thing I do is put in a three clip extension, I let a little more hair down, put in the second three clip and then I do the same exact process for the four clip extensions. Once I reach the two clip extensions, I do one on either side, right in line with the top of my ear, about an inch from the front of my face. And then for the one clip extensions, I have two on either side. So I have these again, really close to my face, about an inch away, just one on top of the other, and the same thing on the other side. I'm going to begin this first look with a one and a quarter inch wand and I'm curling forward so towards my face on the side that my hair is parted on. I also like to include about half an inch of hair in every curl and I hold it in my hand while it's cooling down for only about 5 or 10 seconds but I really recommend this. It makes my curls so much fluffier and just really bouncy. It's definitely the look that I'm going for so I really recommend that you do that as well. I also make sure that I always have some of my natural hair and some of the extensions in every curl and this is going to ensure that when you're done it's completely seamless and it will look absolutely perfect so I really recommend that you try that as well. Once you reach the side that has more hair on it, all of the curls should be directed away from your face but they all do end up in the same direction so I hope that makes sense again on the side with more hair. All of the curls should be going away and then on the side with less hair that we just did, all of the curls go forward. Here is what everything should look like once the curls are done and when I brush the curls out, I like a small brush like this one that is really dense. That way I have a lot of control and I like to do short strokes and I sort of direct them away from my face as you can see. I think this is the fun part of the look because it makes such a huge difference. This is really one of my favorite hairstyles ever and once you do the top, flip it over and do it from underneath. That way all of the curls are going to look exactly the same and really blend perfectly and of course the same thing on the other side. And once that's done, all you have to do is tuck your hair right behind your ear on the side that your hair is parted on. I can't tell you guys how much I love this look. It's just so beautiful, so glamorous. I think it looks amazing on anyone and with any wedding dress style. For this second look, the only thing that I'm changing about the placement of the extensions are where the one clip extensions are. So as you can see, I just did one on top of the other and then I'm going to be putting them in really close to the front of my hair, about one inch in and then one inch away from where my part is. And then I'm going to be spinning the hair away from my face, just almost to the end of the hair with a few inches out. I'm going to secure it with a bobby pin and then I'm going to start working on the other side. And again, it's the same thing. I'm just spinning my hair away from my face and then I'm going to secure it with an elastic in the back. I decided I wanted to curl some face framing pieces, but this is completely optional. If you don't want any pieces hanging down in the front, then feel free to include all of those pieces with your twists. 
Here is what everything should look like from the back. I'm going to be adding real flowers into my hair. I attach them onto the end of a bobby pin and then I'm sliding them in right above the twists. Super simple. I also am focusing on the center here, but feel free to really personalize this look and make it your own and to add as many flowers as you like. I think the flowers just step this look up so much. It definitely has a very professional feel, but this look is also really versatile because I think it could work on a lot of different hair lengths. For look number three, all of the extensions are in my hair the same exact way except for the one clips. I'm going to be putting them in all one on top of the other, about two inches from my part line and an inch and a half from the front of my face. Once all four of them are in, I'm then going to be reverse French braiding and that just means that each strand is going underneath the other instead of on top and this way I just have a lot of dimension with the braid, it sticks out a lot farther. Once I get to where my ear is, I stop adding in any extra hair and I just finish the entire length of the braid and then secure with an elastic. Once the braid is secured, I'm going to really gently start pulling on different sections so that way it's even larger and even more dramatic. And I like to describe this by fanning the braid out starting from the inside of the section and pulling it outwards. And then I'm going to pull all of the rest of the hair onto my shoulder. I'm going to split it in half and then starting on the outside, I'm going to braid my hair exactly like I just did on the first braid. When you pull on your braids, I recommend, of course, that you take your time, but also I like to move around. I don't start in one point and go straight up or straight down. I like to move around a lot, and I feel like when you do that, it definitely maintains the shape of the braid, so I really recommend it. I also am doing the same exact thing on the hair that is left over, really close to my neck. I'm just fanning it out once it's all done, and then once I have all three braids and all of my hair is in the braids, I am going to place them on my shoulder one by one and then I'm securing them with a few bobby pins. What I love the most about this bridal hairstyle is it looks really intricate and complicated but as you just saw it's only three braids right next to each other and then just secured with a few bobby pins. I love how it just sort of fades away at the end. So elegant, extremely bridal and of course I had to show you guys a little something because if I have flowers I just have to use them. So something I see on Pinterest all of the time is flowers in your hair when it has a braid like this for a bridal hairstyle. I think it's so beautiful and I think a lot of you guys would really love this so I just wanted to show you a little idea of adding flowers into a braid. And that completes this bridal hairstyles video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to use the hashtag LuxieHair on Instagram when you recreate the look that was right for you. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.